Hello everyone, welcome back to Dancy Plays. Uh, Monokuma just said it's execution time, even though Sakura after herself. Larson, what's your thoughts? Yes. You just want to see, you just want to hop right into the execution. Sure. <laughs> All right. Wait, but Sakura was technically the killer, right? And she's dead. You're not gonna. But, but... <laughs> is it me? Wrong. Oh heavens, no! Just because the blackened is dead doesn't mean I can just sub in any old student <laughs> I want. Didn't I tell you I'm very particular about the bear times one rule? Listen up. But I spent so much time preparing my special punishment, it'd be just a shame to let it go to waste. Yahoo! So, for my special punishment, I've prepared a special guest. A special guest? Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Uh. Oh, where the fuck am I? What the fuck is that? No. Ow. Our only way out. <laughs> Ow. That was our only hope. Ouchies. Ow. My bones. How fucking rude. <laughs> the characters are not going to respond well to that. Y you, oh, you suck, no! man. You turned him into a mangled hunk of junk. Phew. You that really took it out of me. Maybe I'll go grill up a plate of chicken. After all, they say for a post-workout grub, chickens where is at, and I'm all about the grilled goodness. <laughs> Fried broiled, give me a break. The color, the smell, the succulents grilled is where it's at. <laughs> so. I realize how dangerous it could be. But still, I have to do this. But. I'm scared, but I can handle being crushed into a tiny little ball, I think. I don't really understand why, but... But... <laughs> when I think about everyone else, my courage starts to grow. You might think I'm just some inhuman AI, but it's true. So, it's okay. I'm I can die. If it's for the sake of everyone else, I won't be afraid. Alter Ego's words raced through my heart and soul, and my disbelief gave way to raw anger. The anger turned to fury, black and muddy and boiling over. It bubbled up through my body, quickly overflowing and shooting out of my mouth. How dare you! That was my friend! How dare you kill him! What's the matter? Huh? You were friends with a laptop? That's pretty pathetic. What's next? Friends with a basketball? Wow. Shut the hell up. He wasn't just a laptop. He was my friend. And you killed him! Hmm. Is this what you call... Animism? Where a soul dwells within all things, even like... Laptops? Hmm. Well, you can call it whatever you want. Hmm. 
Mm. Bottom line is, it got in my way. It was trying to find things out all sneaky sneaky. Just as I So, thought. you finally noticed him. Actually, finally. No, no, no. I knew it from the very beginning. I knew Chihiro was doing something with the laptop, and I knew you were using it to analyze data. I knew exactly how it was all going to play out from the start. What? What are you thinking? You knew, and you were still cocky enough to let us take the plunge. Yep. Well, I mean, the data in that laptop, it was... I guess you could call it a gift from me to you. Or maybe more like a reward, in honor of you being able to unlock something so difficult. Hey, um... So, of course, I didn't really care if you got access to it. <laughs> but sneaking into the network was just too personal. So I had to do a little, you know, reformatting. I want to be keep being helpful to everyone. I want to work as hard as everyone else so we can get out of here. Alter Ego wanted to fight for us. He wanted to help at the risk of his own life. And for that, he was killed. <laughs> yeah, the punishment time has made me feel a billion times better. Very Experiencing nice. a meaningless death is so soothing. It makes me remember that every low can get even lower. No, his death wasn't meaningless either. Everybody who's died so far, the deaths of each and every one of our friends, they all make us stronger. I swear to God, someday you will pay for this. Ba -bum. Holy moly, you're super rad. Like, just unreasonably upset. Well? Okay, time to bring things to a close. Oh, but before that... Uh-huh? I need to read the postscript. What? Postscript? Yep. Yeah, there's still a bit more of, uh, left of Sakura's note. Oh lord. Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Do I have your attention? Okay, then here we go. Man, she had a lot of room on this paper. Prepare your ears for the delicate tones of yours, truly. One other thing, you know. There's something I'd like you to tell the others. Hopefully it will act as a clue to help you unravel the mystery of this school. What? A clue? Gang, we have split up. Nina. I've spoken with the mastermind off and on the whole time I've been here, and so I've learned one thing, which is the mastermind has done something to us. I think what they've done is... Whoopsie daisy, that was a close one. Another word and we would have been in damn deep spoiler territory. Too bad. Okay, I don't want to ruin the surprise, so book club is dismissed for the day. Go on, book club is dismissed. Shoo shoo. Stop looking at me. Wait, you can't just stop at the most important bit. Mm. <laughs> makes your brain rumble and tumble, huh? It makes you so mad you don't even freaking know, huh? Hmm. You guys? And that's the whole point, stupid. It's to get back at all of you for hardening your resolve. Fine, but at least Sakura's note. Hmm. Like I'd ever let any of you grease balls have it. Huh? But, but. Too bad. <laughs> Sucks for you, loser. Hmm? Wait, what's this? What? What is it now? Wah -wah? There's one last line in the note. And let me just say this to the mastermind. I'm not going to just lay down and die. 
I will fight you, you bastard. No matter much, no matter what. And that's seriously it. Hmm? Huh. Wow, what a stubborn loser, huh? She won't lay down and die. She'll fight you. Hmm. Well, whatever. Who cares what some duh, dead muscle head has to say? Well? Okay, I'm out of here. Hmm. You guys should try to get some rest, you know? It's like four in the morning. Maybe take some time to reconsider how you approach this school life of yours. Are you sure you don't want to graduate? Can you really cut free from the regrets of the outside world? <laughs> Think about that. Think long. Think hard. Those were his parting words to us before disappearing. But what was that all about? Sakura's final message, her last clue to help us solve the mystery of this school. The mastermind did something to us? Kyoko said something like that before, didn't she? It was after Celeste's trial was over. You. What did you do? What did you do to my body? What? Hey. Answer me. What did you do to my body? The Mastermind did something to our bodies. What are they saying the Mastermind did? What did the Mastermind do to us? I mean, did the Mastermind plant a bomb in us or something? And if we try to leave the school, a sensor goes off? And the bomb explodes? I've seen stuff like that in movies and comics and stuff. So it's not totally unheard of. No, I just feel awful just thinking about it. I can't afford to acknowledge, acknowledge thoughts like that. Yo! So the class trial is over and Monokuma's gone. But... So... Now what do we do? Yes. What is else is there other than to head back up? Uh, um... Oh, yeah. Okay, let's get out of here. But, but... I am... Um... Kina must still feel responsible. <sighs> Dial back that ego a bit, girl. That kind of mystery is someone and like you could pose is absolutely no threat. Not possible. I would never have lost to that kind of challenge. <sighs> what are you talking about? Kyoko and Makoto are the ones that figured everything out. Stop talking. Shut up. Seriously, I'm sorry. How many times do you plan to apologize? How about you make that the last one? I haven't reached a point where I need someone apologizing to me more than once. Sorry. Uh, okay, I see what you mean. Th then... I'll... try. Huh? That totally wasn't normal, right? Did she just c capture his flag? No, 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 no! I cannot suffer the existence of someone who would disturb the romance between me and Master. Huh? Girl, what the fuck are you talking about? That's absolutely not what's happening here. Why would I ever go for a sleaze ball like him? What? What did you say? Sleaze ball? That's right, I called you a sleazeball, cause you are sleazeball. You clawed! See. Apparently you still have a death wish. Oh. oh, more biting sarcasm. No wonder you don't have any friends. No, 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 no! Hey, stop fighting with Master! You're making me jealous. I want the abuse. 
give and take. Me. I guess it's not so easy for everyone to act like friends. Well, that's just how it is for now. I hate having to stand in the middle of this. It's really awkward. And so, Sakura's class trial came to an end, and we returned to the world of Hope's Peak Academy. But the story wasn't even close to over. Time kept marching on. We all went back to our rooms, and before long, night snuck up on us. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Nighttime descended and pulled me down along with it, down into sleep. I couldn't remember the last time I'd fallen into such a deep sleep. But the night still wasn't over for me. A voice. I could hear a voice. What? What? Keep, keep. Keep up. Wake up. Saika? Huh? The voice dragged me from deep slumber into hazy half-consciousness. My eyelids were like lead. Kyoko? Yes, it's me. Huh? Kyoko? I said yes. So Kyoko's here. Wait, what? <laughs> In a flash, I was wide awake. But what are you doing here? It's true. I'm here to wake you up. Oh, I see. Wait, but my door. <sighs> it was unlocked. You're unbelievably careless. It was unlocked? Are you serious? Hey. Always. And you don't have to overreact like that every time you're surprised. But what time is it? Correct. Three o'clock. In the morning, of course. It's 3 a.m.? Why was Kyoko waking me up at this hour? This chapter isn't over yet. <laughs> so late. What happened? Makoto. I have a favor I need to ask. <sighs> What's your favor? So... Remember what Sakura said at the end of her note? I'm not going to lay down and die. I want to find out what she meant by that. Okay, but how do you plan to do that? Then Kyoko put her lips next to my ear and whispered, The data center on the fourth floor. What? Goodbye. I'll meet you there. Without another word, she was gone. What the? Her words reverberated through my half-dazed head. The data center? But I thought it was locked. Can I just fast travel there? No. Apparently not. I made my way into the after hours school and headed for the data center on the fourth floor. Eventually I wound up at the data center, but when I arrived, Kyoko's not here. That's weird. She said she'd meet me. She may be inside already? I put my hand to the door and with a certain amount of force. It didn't open. I tried again, but it must be locked. What was it Kyoko said? The data center on the fourth floor. What's this? Oh, oh what are you doing up, mister? Gah! Damn it! Breaking into a locked room is incredibly prohibited, don't you know? 
Oh, uh, well, I was just... You're trying to tell me you didn't actually bust in yet, right? But... Hey! I can see that, you don't. Don't waste my time telling you crap I can see for myself. You look like you might break in any second, so I just thought I'd give you a friendly reminder. Or, are you going to try to tell me you were sleepwalking or something? N no Nothing like that. It's three o'clock in the morning for crying out loud. Even I get tired, you know? Stop being weird and go back to bed. What's wrong now? Just a second. Why are you out here making a racket? Kyoko? <laughs> now you two? You guys? Whatever, the two of you just get back to bed. I'm positively exhausted from the class trial. It's true. Sure, you got it. Come on, Makoto, let's head back. What? Hey. Didn't you hear me? We're leaving. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Shall we go? Don't worry about it. Let's just go. Okay. Poom, poom. Yeah, yeah. Go on. Get out of here. Shoo, shoo. So we left and went back to our rooms. And then... Goodbye. So? Goodbye. Hold on! Listen, what was all that about just now? She woke me up and made me go to the data center, which just so happened to be locked. And then she shows up late and we leave without checking a single thing. What was the point of all that? Whew. Don't worry about it. I figured that would be the end of our conversation just like always, but... Goodbye. Well then, good night. Sure. And then that was over. But as I turned to leave... Mukuro Ikusaba. <gasps> what? Kyoko's right next to me once again, whispering into my ear. Mukuro Ikusaba. The 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. All star apologies. Seven students left? Question mark. And this will be continued next time on Dancy Plays. Mukuro Ikusaba. The 16th I student. I can't help but think that it's just gonna be her. She's the ultimate despair. <laughs> Kyoko. Do you mean? Yeah. <laughs>